Hi, this is Eugen and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a new Google Analytics account. If you do not have a Google account or a Gmail account, you should create one before signing up for Google Analytics. It's quite a straightforward process so I will not cover this. But once you have your Google account created, all you have to do is just go to google.com forward slash analytics and sign up for Google Analytics. Once you're in, you'll be able to create a new account. And once your account is ready, it's time for you to create an account for your website. So to start, you'll have to give a name for your account. In my example, I will use the actual Web Analytics Blueprint. So the account name will be Web Analytics Blueprint. Now you need to add the website URL, which is again webanalyticsblueprint.com. At the next step, you'll need to choose the time zone where you are. Uh, by default, it's United States Pacific time, but I will change it in my example. Next, you can choose whether to share Google Analytics data with Google. They might use your data privately for enhanced ad features for AdWords, AdSense, and uh, also enable benchmarking to, by sharing your website data in an anonymous form. I will choose not to share my data with Google. Next, you will need to agree with the user agreement. Select yes and press the create account button. Once you do that, you will have access to your tracking code. So all you have to do now is just copy this tracking code and add it to your website. Once you copy the tracking code, just press the Save button. Additionally, you can choose to track one domain with multiple subdomains. If you have multiple subdomains and you would like to enable Google Analytics to do that, or track multiple top-level domains. Another option is to also track AdWords campaign. So if you have any AdWords campaigns running, just select this option. On the Advanced tab, you have access to additional features and additional tracking options that will be able for your Google Analytics account. The Custom tab will um, allow you to edit the tracking code manually and add it to your website. Now that you've done all these settings, it's time to save your account and get some insights about your data once you have the tracking code installed on your website. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. This is Eugen from Web Analytics Blueprint.